can't believe they finished that arc in two episodes because based on the trailer, I thought the entirety of the season was going to be focused on the mountain arc. Nah, two episodes, we're done. Classic anime of Class of the Elite just bull rushing the light novel, but it is what it is. I think that... Of the scenes that we got to see from last episode, the most important shit was with Manabu and Nagumo. I think they did it pretty well. Now, I'm sure there's stuff still cut out from the light novel that could have been better. But we got to see how Nagumo actually deals with people, right? His method. He's a fucking maniac. Bro was down to expel his own students so that other people could just... So that Manabu side would lose Tachibana. But then it's like, I thought that... See, this is where I was short-sighted. I thought that... Nagumo was trying to get rid of people around Manabu so that he becomes more isolated. And honestly, in my opinion, getting rid of Tachibana because she herself says that she's a fucking baggage and Manabu has to carry, wouldn't it make it a little bit easier for Manabu? No, it wasn't that. It was all about Manabu then using his class and private points, probably, right? To rescue Tachibana from the expulsion. In this show, you can buy anything with points. Again, the game has changed again. Like, the meta keeps shifting. In Season 2, a lot of the meta was smartphone recordings, right? Always about smartphones. Oh, I recorded your thing. But now it's like, bro, expulsion? Now nah, we can just buy that shit back. And at the very end... And also, Nagumo it doesn't matter because he has united all second year. So all the points that he lost is less than what Manabu loses. Because again, Manabu has only has he only has 3A. Nagumo has entirely 2 A, B, C, D. How did he do it? I don't know. He's just a fucking golden god. Everyone just loves him, right? And at the end, when Ayano Koji and K were talking, and K was like, did you do that for me too, right? <laughs> now, as an anime only, the logical conclusion is no, he wouldn't. But according to the light novel, An Anakoji is a lot more human. He actually seeks out romance. He actually thinks that this could lead, lead into love. I'm not really sure. But based on a specific passage, I'm inclined to think that, yeah, he would. Even if she's not useful, I feel like he would. And at the end, he said, now we are setting the stage where everybody, not just our class, every year is about to get a series of expulsion. Let's figure out what's going to happen in today's episode. The quote of the day, we never forget what we endeavor to forget. It's too deep for me. Hey, back at school. Ichino say monologue. Oh, you know, every light novel chapter starts off with someone's monologue, right? Usually they skip it, but okay, Ichino say monologue. I've never thought of myself as a good person or a bad person. And she just has a harem now. Okay. Oh, that's a. Uh, uh, I. Uh, is this one D? Is this second year girl? This is an Ayatsuchi or something, right? That, her hair is a little bit like similar. I, I, it's one A, right? It's totally different guy. Totally different girl. Okay, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Nagumo Arisusin. This fucking guy. で、生徒会への配属を希望しているわけではないなら要件は何だ。アリスドゥズンワンスティルカウンセルスパイ。一ノセホナミさんについてです。ナグモカイ。ほう。シーズンオフィサー。ウェイウェイウェイウェイウェ
Nagumo likes Ichinose for his amusement. One C. Or one C. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, so publicly, Hirata and Kei are no longer dating. All right, all right. Okay, okay. So, new boyfriend, Aina Koji. Hey. Look at that blush. No way they broke up? That's crazy! Suzune, do you know what's going on? Suzune actually didn't know at all, huh? I mean, they did keep the secret pretty well. But damn, so Zune just didn't even know? No wonder Maru hates you. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't mind, don't mind, Yamagat. He's probably so excited, bro. EK and fucking Yamagat are probably like, yes, we have a chance to go for him. Fucking K now, dude. Every time Yamagat has a scene, he's just so confident. You know, it's unbelievable how confident he is, but he's so fucking dumb. And that's the best part about this character, dude. Money. <laughs> don't mind, don't mind. <laughs> the idiot trio, idiot trio. <laughs> Are you sure you're comforting? I feel like you're fucking celebrating that a hot guy got dumped, apparently. And oh, Hondo! Hondo! Another scene where Hondo is in, but he has no line because he is the most NPC character in this fucking class. Strongest, most capable warrior in class 1C, Yamauchi. Oh no, dude. She knows her full name. We're fucked. We're fucked. Haruki-kun, are you here? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. This guy thinks that he's about to get with Arisu. He straight up thinks that this is his chance. He's like, oh shit, I'll get a girlfriend. Let's go. Oh. Oh, no, 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 he first conquered her, right? We just took out... Yamagod effortlessly took out the queen of the school at the fucking field trip, you know, the, the arc in episode one. And now she's all rizzed up. She wants to go date Yamauchi, guys. Surely nothing bad is gonna happen, right? Ike so jealous. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Susanee's right. <laughs> Absolutely! <laughs> know your place! Susan is straight up saying, Why the fuck would that girl wanna talk to you? Think about it! Use your brain! <laughs> it's true! <laughs> Susan is the only one trying to save him! <laughs> we have. I mean, he did take out the queen! He did effortlessly crush her and then assisted Ana Koji into that conversation with Adisu where she was a little bit mentally, you know, damaged. I am this class's lethal weapon. Oh my fucking god, dude. This guy. This guy. I, I love him. I love Yamauchi. I love how he's so confident. Like, this is... Like, the, the most dangerous combination of characteristics in a person is stupidity and confidence 
people like that are really scary because they're not aware how stupid they are. They think they're actually smart. They think that they're actually like they never question themselves. They think that they're always right. <laughs> Yamauchi is so unaware, but at the same time, I love this character, dude. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> Lethal <laughs> weapon. All the girls are like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, he's fucked. He's fucked. He's fucked. He's fucked. Koenji's not there. Koenji's probably dating. Hell. Yuki Mu? I thought it was just Keisei. Okay, so we're Kyopon and Yuki Mu now. They interacted once! Once! Oh, come on, he's not that bad looking. What the fuck? Yo, this blue haired girl is, I forgot her name, but she, she loves the gossip, dude. Look at this shit. She's talking shit. Oh, I knew that Kei and Hirata would break up. True though. Yeah, but she's not the quiet type. Anyone but you. I wonder how Anakoji feels right now. Like, you know, the reason why they broke up was, well, it was a fake relationship, but we are the closest with K right now, right? K is really in love with Anakoji. And like, Koji's kind of like talk about this, like as if it doesn't affect him. He has no part in it. Who is K? I don't really know. I wonder in the light novel, like the hu more human Anakoji, if he's thinking like, damn, I'm kind of cool right now. Boring. Unlisted. Who texted us? Who texted? Michan? Michan? The fuck? Michan? Oh, okay. What does she want? Don't tell me she's going after Hirata now for the rebound, Michan! I mean, it's not really a rebound. They were never together. Maybe Michan always liked Hirata. Yeah, why Anakoji? What? Who said that? <laughs> She's so happy about that. Go for the rebound, Michan. Go for it. Show your fangs. I think you could do it. Yeah, why not? Oh, Koji? <laughs> Give it a little time. Okay. 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 Alright, give a little time, right? Don't go for the rebound right away. Let's go, Michan. It's all about the one who laughs last, and you know Yamagod's gonna be not the one laughing last. What does that mean? He is scary. Like, he can be cold, but I, I get it, right? To everybody, Anakoji is like this, like, silent NPC that doesn't really do anything. Until he ran, and then everyone's just like, Oh my god, he's so cool. Wonder how Koji feels about Hidata, re like, relying on him like that. Oh, Michan! Huh? China? Ah, covering for Michan. Very smart. Now Michan's gonna be like, Oh, Anakoji, you cover for me. Oh, I owe you something. It's like, yeah, I know. I'm using you right now. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Reading buddies? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Cool little scene with Hiyori and Michan. Who is this? Susan the Ant? What do you need to talk about? Is it about Yamagod? Oh, Ichinose drama. Okay. What's Sakainagi's plan?
Oh, he already transition scene. Oh. What, what's the slander that she's fucking everybody? What? Alright, let's see the drama. Yo, the drama is spreading fast. Arisu! You don't think Arisu is using Yamauchi to spread these rumors? No shot. No shot. No sh No. Maybe? No, I thought. Oh, I don't know. It's it's like I thought it was like a personal like a vengeance. Nah, she's in love with. You're right. Arisu is in love with Yamauchi. What am I talking about? You're right. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. I <laughs> have Baldi. No, it's Arisu. It's all Arisu. You think she actually does that shit? It's still malicious. Ichinose is keeping quiet about it, smart. You don't want to rush in these situations. In my opinion, the best move here is not to help out Ichinose immediately, but kind of wait for it to cook. Let Ichinose feel helpless. Swoop in as a hero, offer her help, then make her rely on us, and have her owe us stuff. Let's let the full-on drama come out, and then I'll come in and save, and then she'll owe me even more. Oh? Shower scene? I, I was hoping it's gonna be an Ichinose scene. Get the fuck out of here, Suzun. Hmm. Manabu? He would've perfectly solved this, I don't know. Oh! oh, oh. Oh, we're hanging out? Oh, she's talking about casual clothing. Koji looks smooth. Look at this. He's got like a sweater vest thing on top of like a button up shirt. You know, Susan looks very cute too. Everybody, I like this when they're not wearing like they're always like yeah, school uniforms. Yamauchi! <laughs> yeah, my God. Oh, officially? She went that to her face? Yeah, because she is the next threat. So it makes sense why I just want to want to do this. Hmm. B class and C class are not enough Collateral damage from B and C class. Keeping silent like this is hard, man. Especially when they're just spewing out drama like that. But I bet it's Arisu's plan to make Ichinose wants to like defend herself immediately. And then comes phase two of the plan where it's like, oh, it was a bait. Now you're even more fucked. So, so Ichinose has to basically just take all this by herself. And she's even thinking about us right now. Saying like collateral damage. Yeah. Not in just her class, but our class too. What? Okay, it's a, it's a little bit too late for that. Yamauchi already fucking tripped her. It's too late, but damn, each no doesn't want help. Not <laughs> Well, from the trailer, we know that Ichinose and Koji has like a specific moment too, right? They're talking 1v1, so I'm sure it'll develop more. Yeah, there, there is like nothing we gain from really just like going out there right now, it's true. That's also true. Then we'll be in B class. That's the fucked up thing, right? If B class gets crushed, then we get up to B class, you know? And then we're the next target, but still, it's like... I don't know, Ichinose has always been there for us in season 1, man, and season 2. Can't we just, like, fucking... work something out? No, I don't care. Koji doesn't care. Oh, you have no idea how cold he can be. Or maybe she can join our class, you know, class transfer. Really? That wouldn't work out? Really? 
Was that just pure idealism? Why can't we just kind of team up, take out A, you know, crush Arisu, fucking put her back down, take out her other leg, Ichinose moves up to class A, we move up to put class B, then we do a little bit of fighting and go to class A. That's not possible? Pure idealism? Hmm. Susan, you're probably thinking, what would Yam uh, Manabu do? Oh! She's still here. She wants to talk alone. 1v1. Oh, here's the scene from the trailer! Yo, look at Koji's fit, the drip! <laughs> it seems like those rumors have you really worried about me. As soon as we just talked to Suzune about, no, I don't want to help. What the fuck would I put a cross back, cross crossfire on my back? No, let Ichinose fucking die. It's better for us. Who cares? Come on, move on, Suzune. <laughs> and now Ichinose is like, wow, you really must care about me. You're, you're really worried about me. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Trust me, I don't think he really worries. That's it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just wanted to say thanks and bye. That's it? I thought this scene would be way more meaningful. Okay, bye. A a at least we got Koji drip, right? This is nice to see. Look at them. You got, you got a cool jacket. Look at Koji's drip, bro. Ooh. Who is it? Michan again? Who is it? Oh. Who is it? Who? Nagumo's voice. Nagumo's voice. <laughs> that's it? No, it's not. Well, well, that's kind of a spoiler by telling me it's not. Don't, don't, don't tell me that kind of stuff. No, it's Yamauchi. <laughs> Yamauchi. All right, all right, wait, 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 wait. So we, something we got to see here, right? We don't. I'm trying to like. There's nothing I can really see from here. Like, it's just a fucking phase. It's very empty. There's no hair. There, there's nothing really that I can see from this caricature. We got to see the number though, right? Ending in 4295. Unregistered number. It's the black room. Secret admirer. New lover, new stalker. He just calls and he goes, Ana Koji. Kiyotaka hangs up. What the fuck? Hangs up. Bye. <laughs> okay. Alright. Probably to imply... I don't know. If, if Ayano Koji is saying they're making their move, so maybe this is implying that whoever is setting up this drama for Ichinose amongst, you know, um, Arisu's team is on us and they're kind of doing spy work and they know that we're in contact and they're kind of like warning us. I don't, I don't really know, man. Oh? Baldi! Bald! Baldi! What's going on? Katsuragi. <laughs> All of her mailboxes? Everyone got this? It's, it's, it's not even just like regular high school drama of like that Ichinose Honami is a slut. She slept with so many guys. It's more like this girl is a fucking criminal. She's committing Ponzi scheme, tax evasion, fraud, crypto rug pull. Remember how everyone's giving money to Ichinose and she's holding in her bank? What the fuck? <laughs> she's just a criminal? <laughs> Okay. Who is this guy? Why is he getting so much lines right now? He's one, you know, one A, right? No, I just know she will bear it by herself. I wonder what she really thinks right now. Like, sure, she puts up this strong face that she's trying to be strong, but like, damn. She's probably kind of hurting inside, right? I don't really know. Maybe she's super strong and she actually doesn't care, but I maybe you want to think that she's just putting up a happy face, but she's actually suffering inside. <laughs> oh! This bitch again! Y'all said that this is Arisu's uh, left-hand girl, right? If Hashimoto is the right-hand man, this is like the left-hand woman? I don't know. Yeah, it's that girl again! Huh? You again? 
Who? Kamuro Masumi? Alright. Wait, she just comes over? The white room riz, man. Bro just has girls coming over the place all the fucking time. God damn. <laughs> Sit on the bed. God damn. Yo, Koji. I mean, they did rank him as one of the hottest guys at schools, right? <laughs> Get yourself a drink, bitch. What a gentleman. She's so picky. Okay, she likes cocoa. <laughs> She's a picky one, yeah. What? What? The, does she think we poisoned the cocoa? What? Yeah, just abruptly. What do you want? What happened to Yamauchi, guys? What happened to Yamauchi? We haven't seen him in a while since Arisu took him. Is he okay? Is Yamauchi safe? Is Yamaka still alive? <laughs> You're not at all like your classmate, Yamauchi. What did you do to him? Hmm. Oh, more thighs. More thighs. She's neither a good or a bad person. She's just Ichinosen. That's what she said in the intro. Yo, what the fuck, cameraman? Oh my god. Yo, this cameraman is so down bad. What the fuck? They keep focusing on her thighs and you're gonna give me the gat right now? Cameraman! You're really staring! Hmm. Basically just spreading more drama. Fake news or is it true? Who knows? <laughs> this bitch just came out of nowhere and she's just dropping her live story on us and Koji's like, this is annoying. <laughs> Nobody asked. All right, live story time. Okay, their first encounter with uh, Arisu. Wait. <laughs> So she felt like she was being stalked, someone was like walking, right? And then Aisu was just fucking, just, just walking really fast with the cane and she's like, Oh my god, she's approaching me! Oh lord, she caught up! Shoplifted. So she used this as blackmail from the beginning? Oh, oh my god! Yo, kick her cane out! Oh, is she fucking? She, she, she stole a beer? What, we, what the fuck? Okay. She stole. She stole some beer. <laughs> if Arisu just fucking shotgunned her right there, I would have loved her. But that's not this kind of shit. Could you imagine if she just started fucking drinking it? Just. <laughs> Wait, wait, chill, chill, chill! Oh, oh what the fuck? Oh. Oh. First friends? More like first tool. You know, even just right here, if you just like dissect exactly what happened, like, it will, okay, in, enough memes aside, right? Memes aside, if you really think about what just happened, and if you think about what Arisu's connection with like, Anokoji, remember, she calls Anokoji false genius. Fake genius, implying that he's a product of the white room. He's like an artificially made sociopath. Wow. If you're saying that, that kind of implies that Arisu is a genuine sociopath, right? They have similar strategies. Even right now, their first encounter, right? I'll make you my first friend. This all started with blackmail. She just fucking eyed whoever was shoplifting, fucking ran really fast with a walking cane, threatened it, not really threatened, but it put her in a really unfavorable position. Now she feels like she owes her. Already she's a tool, first friend. So her methods in using people, white room, you know, teachings, it's kind of there, right? First tool. <laughs> she's a shoplift for fun. <laughs> yeah, she works it to the bone now. Yeah, she just works it to the bone. Free me from Arisu? What is it? What is it? What do you want? What? Ichinose shoplifting? What? Really? What's she stealing? What? 
worry the most about. Wow. True. 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 No, she wouldn't do that, right? Right? Okay. <laughs> no, she just did. She just steal. Did she, did she just steal from the fucking shop? Did she just shoplift? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. <laughs> I'll show you how serious I can really be. <laughs> Some fucking beer. Here it is. Hey, this girl fucking stole. Let's use her as let's use this as blackmail and use her and fucking I don't know, have this go up to Sakai and again. Make make sure that Aris is making this girl steal some shit. I don't know. Spread some rumors, man. Drink it, Koji. They're making such a serious deal about the shoplifting skill. <laughs> what the fuck is this show? If you just like take a step back and like think about like what's happening, what in the fuck is going on? Alright, plus one tool. Oh man. Oh Nisan is calling us! Oh, booty call time? What's up, Nisan? Ayana Koji. Ayana Koji. <laughs> I want to inform you of something. I have a crush on you. What the fuck is Valentine showing up all of a sudden? Anyways, this is not a fucking coincidence, dude. I swear to God, the author understands that people fucking meme about these shifts. Manabu Koji, Ryu and Koji. Anyways, Kushida Kikyo has made contact with Nagumo Miyabi. This bitch goes from signing a contract with one devil, Ryuen, onto the fucking next one, dude. What? She's a fucking cancer. We need to kill- You can't kill her. We don't kill in this show. This show is not a shonen or a seinen show. We don't kill, right? But we need to expel her! Hmm. That's it? That's it?! All right, that's the episode. We end on with Kikyo Kushida has made contact with Miyabi Naguma, which is kind of a huge deal, right? Because this girl is out to get us expelled. Like her goal is straight up. I want to get you, Susune, and Anukoji expelled, right? And we were kind of like trusting her, trying to have faith in her. Hopefully that she'd come around. But like, you, you, Ryuin said it the best. She's a cancer. You, you cannot like stop the spread. You need to excise this. You need to get her expelled, but like, this hasn't happened yet. And technically, in the Christmas Eve episode in season two, Anako just said that in the last term of first year, we will get to class 1C, but we'll go back to 1D because we're going to get Kushita expelled, right? I'm not sure if we're still going on with this plan because Suzune of all people, Suzune of all people is like, oh, oh, oh. Suzune of all people is like, protecting Kushida, which is fucking bizarre to me. Like, of all peoples that should be against Kushida, you would think that Susan would be down. It's like, no, no, she's not. A very interesting setup episode where each Nose is getting called a fucking criminal, <laughs> which is hilarious. I thought it'd be like high school drama. You know, oh, she's sleeping with this guy. Oh, she's such a slut, but it's like, nah, this bitch a fucking criminal. <laughs> Okay, Baldi had a lot of scenes this episode too. We got to meet this new Kamuro girl, right? She is... I thought that she was like our girl, like Ayatsuchi or some shit in like 1D or 1C. She murders someone. Oh god, Ichinose is a fucking serial killer. Maybe she is. I don't know because in the opening sequence monologue, she specifically says that I'm not a good or a bad person. She's obviously going to have some kind of like, you know, fault and there's nothing wrong with that. But you know who doesn't have faults? You know who effortlessly rizzed up the queen of the school? That's right. The self-proclaimed lethal weapon. Yum out, God, dude. The black room riz. I'm kind of worried, though, because we haven't seen him after Arisu took him. Where is he? Is he okay? Is this the last time we see Yama God? Could you imagine if this is the last time we actually see Yamauchi and he's just like done? Because I kind of mean the last episode. What if Arisu took it personally? What if she actually has a grudge? But then maybe my other tinfoil theory is that Arisu is using Yamauchi as a tool. And is he the one delivering all this drama? I don't really know, but I hope our lethal weapon is doing okay. Hey, maybe, you know, I, you don't know. Maybe this is a new ship, guys. 
Sakai and Yarisu and fucking Yamauchi. Maybe this is an actual ship. I'm sure the fucking classroom of the elite meme subreddits have it going on. But that's it from me. Hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.